Welcome back to uh, another chapter here. So just exploring the Montserrat Monastery. Just looking around and having a, a look at what the history offers really. And at this stage of, of the tour, um, our tour guide was just like, right, just have a little look around guys. So we had around about like, I think it was like an hour or so just to um, have a look around and explore the monastery. So we found um, quite a cool candle uh, stand. We were able to uh, light up a candle and stick it um, on the side there. Um, it probably does have some deep meaning, but sadly I didn't find out what the deep meaning was. It probably stands for something that's quite powerful. Might be uh, something to do with the, the prayer up there, but it was like three euros for a candle so uh, my girlfriend got one on the go and uh, lit one up I can only imagine um, how long they'll be sat there for before they burn out but I'm gonna gu I'm gonna guess a couple of days before uh, the candles actually burn out but yeah it was nice to have a little explore around it wasn't too much um, to see inside I say not too much to see, but it wasn't like there wasn't much to explore inside. There was like a few different rooms, a few different areas, and then we headed in onto the gift shop where we had a little look around, and there were some cool um, figurines there. But it's just mad to think that the uh, the monastery goes back to uh, the ninth century, so like over a thousand years it has been there, um, which is quite crazy to be honest. Um, we did learn part of the tour that um, part of the monastery, I think most of the monastery did get burned down um, back in 1811 where it was, it was actually um, kind of taken down to the ground, a lot of it was anyway, and uh, by some Napoleon's troops, yeah, so which was, uh, must have been quite quite an experience back then like so something so masterful to be burned down by warring nations is crazy but as you can see here we, we finally uh, get to the horse riding the weather's absolutely criminal yeah it's just oh, probably the worst time to go horse riding it was literally thunder and lightning um, I was drenched Fair play to um, the horse guy, they did uh, an amazing job, like, it was quite funny when they were given the demonstration because of the thunder and lightning that the horses were going a bit AWOL, so, yeah, they, they were, I think, going back and forth, like, but my girlfriend managed to get some footage on the horse, I, I didn't get any at all because I was keeping two hands on mine just in case I fell off, but overall, 10 out of 10 experience, I'll see you in the next one.